Hey there, Dolly friends. It's Near and Far Reborn Dolls here, and I'm here with a Reborn Rescue. So I had the opportunity to purchase a sold-out limited edition sculpt from another collector. And in looking at the pictures that she sent, um, I felt like the doll was very yellow looking. Um, it has no hair, not painted hair or rooted hair. Um, and I thought because it's a sold out limited edition kit, I don't know if it's sold out, actually it's a limited edition kit, that it might be a good idea to do a reborn rescue on it. So paint it up, spruce it up. It also looks a little bit shiny. So let's see what we've got. And one of the nice things is that this collector sent a ton of clothes. So of course I can always use some reborn clothes. So this is the um, sculpt. This is Kovu, number 288 of 800. And it looks like there's something in here too. <clears throat> pictures maybe? I don't know, okay. Looks like some, some pictures. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I just knocked you guys over. <laughs> Okay. Okay, maybe pictures from the artist or pictures from the collector. I'm not sure. They're not the pictures aren't that great, so I'm thinking that it might be from the collector. Okay. All right. So, first of all, we have a belly plate. It's a very cute belly plate. I actually really like it. And it's tiny. Boy, I didn't realize Kovu was this tiny. Now, looking at this with an artist's perspective, it, it's very dark. Um, the nipples are brown. Um, it's very heavily modeled. So it'd be interesting to see what the doll looks like. Um, so I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put that over there. Okay, so we have a lot of pacifiers here, magnetic pacifiers. So we've got a couple green ones, a blue one, um, a yellow one with, oh, elephants. <laughs> like, what the heck is that? And then a gray one. So pacifiers are always nice. Again, a lot of the stuff I feel like I can reuse and recycle, so that's why I was willing to take a risk on the doll. And doll's right here. Now, like I said, the what it comes with is extensive, so if you want to skip ahead, like, I, I totally get it. I'm going to go through this stuff really quickly. So, whoop. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to go through it really quickly and then I get throwing things around. So we've got a bunch of bibs. These are actually really cute. I love them. Oh my gosh. Very cute. Okay, and a little onesie. There's Koba right there. Very, very, very teeny. Looks like um, a preemie size. I don't know, some something there. We've got a bunch of onesies, a lot of dinosaur theme going on. That's cute. Oh, I kind of like that one. Some stripes. Oh, I like the, I like this one. That's really nice. And actually, I'm, as I'm going through these really fast, let me just look at one and what size it is. Oh, preemie. Okay. So a preemie size. Wow. So look at all this stuff. Best snuggler, more dinosaurs. Hug me. And... <laughs> a little bear astronaut. Oh my gosh, it's a ton of stuff. I really, I'm going to try, and that smells really nice, which is good. So hats, hats galore, hats and hats and hats and hats, hats on hats on hats. Awesome. Like I said, I'm trying to go through this stuff pretty fast. So probably pants that go with... I'm just picking out the ones I think are cuter. Man, I am going to be made in the shade with terms of preemie clothes. For sure. When I redo this doll, I'll probably actually do, uh, you know, send a lot of clothes with them. Um, 
Or I might save some for some of my dolls lately. I've gotten a couple of preemie dolls. I was saying lately that it seems like the last three dolls that I've gotten have been uh, preemies. <laughs> so I don't know what it is about the preemies <clears throat> that I've been really into lately. Oh, that's cute. First Easter. Okay, a little Easter bunny stuff. And we have a little 101 Dalmatian thing going on. Like I said, I, I totally understand if you skip through this. I'm actually trying to go through this really, really fast. That's cute. Little panda. Panda shirt. Okay. So we've got... Is that dogs? Dogs? I don't know. Another sleeper with dinosaurs. Another one with oh, with uh, zoo animals. More dinosaurs. Another one with little monsters. Then we have another Easter one. And then a little jacket with dinosaurs. Um cars looks like oh this is really cute whoop little puppy dogs is there really cute stuff in here i thought there would be some more blankets in here but maybe uh, whatever <laughs> all right so let's put all that stuff off to the side we're gonna move the box out of there sorry this is like sunlight going on right here and we'll just move this little guy right here Wrapped up in a cute dinosaur blanket. <clears throat> well wrapped up. It's got sort of a bear little thing going on. So let's take unzip here. Okay. So there's his little leg. Okay. So his... Um, this is what I, I, I think his overall, his painting is pretty good. Um, the toes are, sorry, I'm getting down here and taking off my glasses. The toes are kind of weird. Whatever they use, it's very yellow. Um, it looks like they used a flesh 08 color, which normally is a pretty good color for toes. But in this case, I'm going to say, you know, not so, not so much. Um, it just doesn't look like nails, so definitely his little toes need to be done. It's very soft, smells good. He does have good range of motion in his legs, so um, I'm definitely not going to have to do anything to his skin tone. Um, I do think I'm going to do some matte sealer because, like I said, from the pictures, he looked a little shiny, and he is shiny. Uh, and that's what happens when you dress and undress a doll a lot. So I like his little fists. Um, so again, I, I really think, sorry, I'm probably getting in your way of seeing it, but how I really, what, what I really do is I really like to go like take off my glasses. So again, I'm thinking that his, his, um, his hands, his, his, his fingers and toes need to be done, redone, um, and matte sealed. So, which is what I thought. Like, it's not anything that I'm surprised about. Okay. And his little face. Okay. So, let's bring him up here so you guys can see him a little bit better. So, again, skin's in, uh, skin tone is pretty good. Um, boy, this sculpt really has, sorry, I'm going to flip him around here. This sculpt really has... <laughs> See if I can turn him. He really has like, you know how newborns like their head will mold to the, to the birth canal. He really reminds me of that. He's got blonde rooted lashes. So definitely I'm going to be doing a blonde hair or, oops, sorry, bumped him there, or, or a light brown hair. Um, his, he feels very soft. His vinyl feels very soft. Like he's going to be very easy to root. And of course he is a preemie size, so that's going to be, that's going to be nice. So 
Um, I paid uh, for all of us around $300. So um, I think that is going to be uh, an excellent way to upgrade him. Um, looking at his belly plate, um, it, it doesn't quite, it doesn't, it doesn't quite match to me. Like this is a very, very dark belly plate and he is kind of on the darker side, but this is like really dark. Um, this would be to me like an AA or a Hispanic baby where I don't really see that. Now the, the yellow that I saw in the pictures, I'm seeing somewhat, he does look kind of yellow to me. Um, especially like his cheeks, like they don't look like they've been blushed. Like, I don't know if you can see, but compare that to his head, his head's very rosy. And so I might add a little bit of blushing, um, as well. One of the things I'm noticing that he does, he's not really glossed. His lips don't look glossed. Now that could be something that has rubbed off over time if he's very well loved. Um, so I think he's going to be, be a perfect reborn rescue. So to get all of this for around $300, Again, I have personal dolls that I can use these clothes with. I can send them home with Kovu. I can send them home with other uh, preemie dolls. So to me, that was uh, a good investment. So stay tuned and see how I do a reborn rescue on Kovu. Um, and definitely, if you're interested in seeing what I'm going to do with him, um, let me know. Maybe I can do like a series on uh, taking him apart and... You know, what are some of the things that I would do as a uh, reborn artist? So I appreciate you all coming for the ride today to take a look at little Kovu. And also, if you have any suggestions, if you're looking at him and go, boy, I really think he needs this or that. Let me know as a as a collector, because honestly, when I do reborn rescue, I make a reborn to look like I want them to look and the things that I like about reborns. Um, like the fact that I like really blushy cheeks and you can see here his cheeks are just, you know, his eyes are blushed, his mid face is blushed, his head is blushed, but not his cheeks. So what are some things that you like? Um, for example, do you like capillaries in the eyes? He doesn't have those. Some people do, some people don't. What about milk bumps? Like I would love to hear what other people like look for in a reborn. Um, what do you think about you know, his hands. Do you think they look realistic to you? Do you think I should leave well enough alone? Um, I would love to hear uh, what you guys have to say and what you're looking for as a collector. And then, of course, if you're interested in Kovu, um, uh, just let me know um, and you can definitely pre-order him. Um, I'm going to assume that he's going to be around four to $500 once I've um, finish rooting him, um, and, uh, fix his paint and everything like that. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. Well, thanks for tuning in today. It's not a collector's corner. Yay. <laughs> so, um, uh, I appreciate you, uh, tuning in every time I make these videos. It's always awesome. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.